Hello my awesome and amazing Aquariuses. It's Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another general collective of reading. Messages from your specific person. What is it that they wish to say to you? We're going to find out. Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Aquarius viewers and subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers. And so it is. Power number 11. Power of number 11 again. And then number three. So there's already a twin flame soulmate. Again, 1111 connection that's going on. But there could definitely be a third party that's going on. But adding up the power of the numbers brings us to the number 25. Some of you Aquariuses are dealing with a Scorpio or a Sagittarius born in the month of... November. Others of you could be dealing with a Libra. You could also be dealing with a Pisces or an Aries born in the month of March. Others of you could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Pisces born in the month of February more specifically. And yes, a lot of you Aquariuses were born at the latter part of January. That is true. Some of you could also be dealing with a Taurus or a Gemini born in the month of May. You could be 21, 23, or 25 years of age. Others of you could be 31, 32, or 35 years old. And for my more mature audience, you could be 51, 52, and or possibly 53 years of age. But either way, Aquarius, go into the power of number 25. Messages from your person. And 25. Trusted ancestors of my Aquarius viewers and subscribers, what is the overall general collective message, please, from Aquarius as person and to them? Show me what's up. Mm. They still have a lot of passion and a driving force for you, Aquarius. Some of them could be reaching out to you within one day or one week's time, or it's going to be over the summertime process of 2024. They're passionately desiring you. They're also thinking about you on a physical, intimate level as well. Okay. You could also be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, and or possibly a Sagittarius. Mm. Listen, Aquarius, this person has been holding back. They've been very selfish. They know that they need to come forward because they have this passion towards you. But I think they're having a hard time swallowing their pride. Mm -hmm. Four of Pentacles, you could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, and or Capricorn. I know I was a distraction from your pain. Some of you Aquariuses might not have been entirely healed from a prior relationship prior to this person that you could be thinking of. That's more of your, at this moment, your target interest. Okay. However, I honestly feel Aquarius, this person didn't have all of their act together. Okay. Um, they're very much attracted to you. I feel that they would be in agreement that the chemistry and the passion or the lovemaking or anything like that was very intense, very cosmic, very fiery, um, just a lot of oomph to it. However, a lot of them were players and they were in and out and they were very selfish and greedy and they held back a lot of information from you. You speak to me through music. You could be dealing with somebody who actually is in a band. They could play a musical instrument. There could even be 
a particular song that the two of you did share, okay? Certain lyrics and a song sometimes can identify with different types of relationships, okay? So, or if there is no special song, there could be words, meaning the lyrics of a particular song that they hear and something triggers them about you, you know, like they, they think about you, okay? But they know that they've been holding back, so they've been doing this on purpose, Everything has been intentional with them. Mm -hmm. Mature man. A lot of you guys were just waiting for this person to grow up, basically. You're waiting for them to take this connection to the next phase, Aquarius. So it could be the mature man, the mature woman, the mature person, etc. Okay. They've been also holding back a gift. They have something for you. This could be an engagement ring. Could be. Could be also perfume, cologne, something like that. But they have a gift. They have something that they've been holding on. Or you might have even thought about giving this person a gift, Aquarius. But uh, I feel like spirit saying in that direction, please hold back. Don't try to overextend your good graces to a person that hasn't been putting in enough effort. Okay. You're only going to lower your integrity. So whatever you do, don't go chasing after this person. Don't do it. It's not going to shift them. They need to come in a very organic, authentic way. Okay. But I do agree that probably a lot of you Aquariuses are doing your candle workings, your manifestation, your Reiki, you're fixing your chakras, trying to get yourself into alignment and or could be doing some form of shamanic tapping to help you align your frequencies to get this person to come in your direction and or possibly get a meditation, which it all does work. But the reason why you guys are not getting what you want, especially with this person, is because you haven't been consistent. So stay consistent. Know that it'll come together, okay? I do feel that this person has an urge. They have an urge that they want to see you. But there could be fear. There could be pent-up fear on their part because, again, they know what part they played. They know that they didn't take responsibility for certain actions. And they held back a lot of emotion here. They're passionate. Their chemistry with you is fantastic. But they're not giving me a lot of emotion. They didn't give me any cup cards, okay? So... They held back a lot of feelings. They suppress and suppress. I think, you know, your intelligence, Aquarius, actually blew this person out of the water. They've never met somebody as intelligent as you, and they're used to dealing with people who are mediocre, okay? Just have no, they're kind of like, la di da di da di da okay? Aquarius, you're very intelligent, okay? And you're highly intuitive. So a lot of, there's suppression. There's a lot of suppression on this person's part and that, that doesn't make it right. They should have told you how they felt, okay? They made you question your own value and your, your worth, okay? And a lot of you could have just been like, whatever, you know? And I'm not saying none of you didn't get pissed off with this person because I can totally feel it. You're a fixed sign like I am. I'm your sister Scorpio. Okay, so totally get that part. Um, but this person, in truth, they do need to come correct. So don't think that they have forgotten about you, but I feel like they're gearing up for this new beginning. Because aces, all aces represent a new beginning. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, if you try to, if you're in a situation where you're trying to extract answers out of them, Aquarius, let it go for the moment. This person hasn't forgotten about you, but they could have given you the excuse, please understand that I need space right now. That doesn't make you a bad person. They just, they don't know what they want to do with this connection. And in truth, this person's not stepping up to the plate, Aquarius. Things moved so fast that I didn't know how to trust my feeling for you. That's why that four of pentacles, they're showing me suppression. They were very immature, okay? Don't go chasing after them. Keep your integrity right now if you're battling, okay? Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. I feel like this person gave you some attention or they liked the attention that you were giving them. But the way that they came off in some cases, not for everybody, but it's kind of like... Either they felt like you were fawning over them and they're just used to getting a lot of attention and maybe you thought, Aquarius, you're going to be the one that's going to kind of shift and change everything, which, yeah, you, you still can. You just got to manifest for it. But this person, it's so weird. Some of them felt like they were above you. Some of them did. So their ego was just way out in left field, okay? When in truth, this person isn't, they're not as smart as they played off to be, okay? So they played it off as if they just weren't interested. What was going on is that they had another, they had another person. They had a third party. Separation, time apart from your partners on the horizon. It's going on right now. This person has a little bit of arrogance. I can feel it. They honestly need to prove themselves. But you know what? Don't be desperate for this person. Because they, for some odd reason, they haven't learned their lessons. I feel like they're in and out. And stop accepting breadcrumbs, Aquarius. You're smarter than that. I know. You were trying to give this person the benefit of the doubt, but sometimes you got to be five steps ahead of the game here. Listen. This person's got a tower moment coming. If they're dealing with the third party, they got their karma coming because somebody's going to get kicked to the curb. Okay? So if you know for a fact there is a third party, stop giving that third party any more of your thoughts. Do you understand how powerful your thoughts are, Aquarius? Very powerful. There's an ending coming. And it's going to be, in that scenario, unrequited. Okay, so be prepared for anything. Yeah, because see, on the bottom of the deck, I have the Page of Cups. This isn't about a rightfully owed apology. They may be highly worried and concerned that they're going to miss the boat or miss the opportunity, wondering if, hmm, I wonder if Aquarius is really going to, you know, accept my apology. Okay, so let them sweat. Let them sweat. And you know, you get that text message or you get that phone call or they leave a message or they unblock you on Facebook and Instagram or wherever your situation's at right now, okay? Do not respond to them right away. If it's a breadcrumb text message, don't respond to that. They need to step up to the plate and make arrangements to see you face to face because you need to see the body language of what this person's doing, okay? Because you went around the block a few times with this person, Aquarius, and they just, they thought that they could pull a fast one over you. And some of you did fall for it. Some of you guys did fall for their antics or their behavior. You questioned, got Aquarius energy coming in. See, you're the shining star, you guys. 
man, nobody compared to you. You're above this person. But they're going to come in unexpectedly for a reconciliation because the star card does talk about reconciliation. They want to have a healing, cleansing, renewal. Okay? So, but making sure that they're coming back for the right reasons. They're going to come in and tell you that they want to balance the connection. Or they might want to see you have a chat, have a talk, possibly. Just to balance something out. But don't you dare take this person back right away, Aquarius. Don't do it. Don't do it. Keep your integrity. Let them sweat. Let them sweat. They made you sweat, okay? Your happiness is just as important as this person, but they were highly immature, very, very immature. And they, a lot of them, they used you. There was also a friends with benefits situation that was going on. And there were a lot of red flags in some cases, okay? But they didn't know, going back to the statement, things moved so fast and I didn't know how to trust my feeling for you. They couldn't process all of that emotion. They never felt real love before. They never felt what it's like to have a healthy connection, especially if you know for a fact that they were dealing with nothing but toxic relationships prior to meeting you. And you probably have dealt with some other toxic relationships prior, prior to meeting this person. Okay. This person could have gone back to their ex or something like that, but... Pff, that never works, you guys. <laughs> never works. Does not work. They met their match in you because you're the star. They couldn't handle all of that warmth and empathy and the compassion and the real love and the genuineness that you were showing them because they thought it was too good to be true. And because you're coming in as the star, they see you above them. Bottom line, even though they know that they have chemistry with you and if they feel that they can be or trigger your Achilles heel and keep coming back, no, no, no. You're going to have to pull back the reins a bit, Aquarius. This person hasn't learned their lessons just yet. We're going to leave the energy like this for the moment until the next time around, okay? But in the meantime, if you'd like to book a personal reading with me and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com. My amazing assistant, Victoria, will book you for that personal reading. I am running a June reading special for questions for $25. So if you'd like to get on my next recording schedule coming up very soon, <clears throat> we'll get you scheduled. Victoria will send you all the proper information on how to book that reading and how to pay for it. So, but if you like this content, Aquarius, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. And until next time, take care.